Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to check out the Aldi Yo-Yo Officer Orbis. This is the Aldi Yo-Yo Officer Orbis. Just to let you know that this is a very different yo-yo design than the yo-yo officer orbis by itself along with its price i bought this on aliexpress for around 15 dollars and i'll put a link in the description of my ebay listing the yo-yo comes in this rather large box and includes a string The cup area has interesting lines and grooves machined, and there doesn't seem to have a hook lip for thumb grinds. The center has a circular cutout and has a sticker, so I think one should be able to still do finger spins in there. I have seen various postings that you can insert some kind of light into that center cutout. The Orbis comes in at 55mm in diameter, 43mm in width, 64 grams in weight, and a 4.5mm string gap. It also has a nice soft blasted finish. Looks like mine came with a 10 ball concave style bearing. Seems to spin really smooth and the silicone sticker has his name Aldi imprinted in them. So let's put this all together and see how it performs. So this version of the Orbis is actually different than the one released by Yo-Yo Officer by themselves. This one, I believe, is designed with the collaboration of Aldi. So this is actually a very budget-friendly yo-yo. Uh, you could typically find this on websites like AliExpress for around, I think, $15 to $20. You actually might find some on eBay for just around the same price, probably like you know, $10 to $15. And the very first impression of this yo-yo is it's very lightweight. Diameter is a little bit smaller, but it feels actually good to play fast if you want to as well. It's a pretty nice, I guess, nimble yo-yo. That's the best way that I could describe this. It's light and bouncy. And it's fairly easy to control. The only thing I wish this yo-yo had was better stability in the central axis doesn't exactly have a lip so you'll have to throw thumb grinds at kind of a tilt so this has been kind of like my everyday beater that I don't really take too much caution if this hits the ground or anything the center of the cup has this kind of machined out center kind of like the shutter except the shutter has a small little hook or a lip in that middle or the magic carpet pin 
So I don't know how this will do with finger spins. I guess it could do pretty good. Still gotta work on my finger spins, obviously. But I think I'm slowly getting better. The finish is actually pretty nice. Uh, although this one, I've already dinged, I've already pretty much hit the ground several times. So it has some vibe. But even with a little bit of vibe, it's, <laughs> it's actually still a good performer. Let's see how it does in horizontal. So it's not a wide yo-yo, it's actually a little bit undersized, or not really undersized, but it's considered a pretty small yo-yo. But it's actually okay doing horizontals. There's far greater amount of yo-yos out there that could perform significantly better in horizontal. But I mean, for yo-yo that's 10 to $15, this puts it into like the same price range and I mean, it's not the same performance like the Hertz, but this actually is still a pretty fun yo-yo to use. What I've actually been doing with this yo-yo is practicing my freehand since I don't really care what happens to this one if it gets all scratched up. Okay, let's check out the vibe. So this one specifically, so as, as I mentioned, I have a couple of copies of these. And the ones I've kept that not using actually has no vibe. This one has quite a bit of vibe. But this actually has hit the ground several times already. So unfortunately, I can't really say for sure if all the yo-yos they produce will have no vibe or this bad of a vibe. But I do have a couple that has no vibe at all. But it's just the percentage is kind of inconsistent. Overall is, I mean, for the price, it's a very good yo-yo if you don't really mind the vibe. I do have a link to an eBay that sells these with less vibe than the one I have. Some of them might even have no vibe. But overall, it's still a pretty, it's a pretty good yo-yo. Okay, just to let you know, I've only been practicing freehand for maybe like a couple of weeks, so I don't think I'm that good at it. But I mean, <laughs> for me at least, this is still fun enough for me to be able to practice on. At least this yo-yo feels comfortable in the hand because I don't have very big hands. I haven't done any type of, I haven't really put effort into trying to learn freehand yet, but, or at least some of the tutorials. So this is whatever I could come up with, just with my experience playing uh, 1A.